craziest thing I've ever seen. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Erin. If you guys are new here, we are currently in Seattle for Brian's World Champion Show Weekend. We also got a super sick Airbnb and we have some fun stuff to do in town. Brian and I have never been to Seattle, so I'm really excited and I'm gonna take you guys along with me for all the things to come. Right now, we woke up at 4 a.m., Ubered at 4.20, got to the airport, had a flight at 6.25, landed at 8.30. Brian had to go check in, and then we had some food, and now we're heading up to Seattle. We forgot one of our lenses, so we're gonna go rent another lens from a camera shop. And I might rent an Alpha One, which is like a step up from the camera I have right now. It's really, really, really good with photos and I've always wanted to try it out. So I might do that. And then we're gonna go to a market and I don't know what else the day is gonna bring. So let's get into it. First stop of the trip. What do they have with me? Yay. Update, we're trying to find a different camera shop because this one requires a hold, the retail value of the products that you're renting. So I would have had to put down like an $8,000 hold to get the camera and a lens. And I'm just not gonna do that. So we're gonna see if we can go somewhere else and find what we need. We just called the next camera shop and they require production insurance. I don't know what's going on in this city, but we might not be able to get rental. While Brian's calling around, I'm about to do a little change in the car because we're gonna walk around Seattle and I don't want to be wearing sweats. So I'm just gonna do this Abercrombie t-shirt, Abercrombie sweatshirt, Abercrombie jeans. I've been a big Abercrombie girl lately because they're just the good basics that I want to wear when I don't want to wear activewear. Much better. Brian called around and talked to this really nice guy at a camera store that said this camera store is actually the best one and pretty much everyone requires that kind of deposit in Seattle or insurance. I guess this is the only one that doesn't require insurance, so I'm just gonna go in, put my car down, and only get the lens, not the camera. You guys, I got the lens. Funny story, this is the lens that was stolen out of my car when my car was stolen. It's actually really bittersweet because I love this guy. It's a 70 to 200. Like if I'm taking a picture of something over there, it'll be like super close and crisp. So when the man's on stage, we got it. Let's go have some fun. If you guys know me, you know that I'm terrified of heights. And in Seattle, there's a space needle. We're actually like right here. And I just saw the elevators go up on the outside. This is giving Erin going to the arch with her dad when she was like 10 and crying up the elevator the entire time. I'm definitely a mountain girl as opposed to an ocean girl. Like I just prefer it. But when I'm on vacation and see the water, I love it. You can't even see it. Ah. Bye. <laughs> We're heading to this little market thing. It's called Pike Place Market. I don't think it's little, but it's like right on the water. And it looks super cool. I already really like Seattle. <gasps> they have iris portraits. You can get a picture down of your eyeball. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's kind of cool. We just got to the market. This is so the craziest pretty. thing I've ever seen. I'm so happy. Look at the view. Shout out to Seattle. We're a little sleepless in Seattle. You know? <laughs> just a little bit sleepless. I'm dead. Appropriately. Go fuck up the market. Show you guys some, uh, some B-roll of what we find. Always ask where I get my big t-shirts from when I travel. I get white though. I get white it's just too small. Sad I don't live here because... Yo, <laughs> the flowers are so good. I don't think I've ever seen flowers this big in my life. Well, I don't know. What do you It's so pretty. I've never seen flowers like that before in my life. He 
these donuts smell so good. So I'm gonna try one. Brian's gonna join me in three days. Two days. Two days, two short days. 20 weeks of dieting, coming to a close. They have plain cinnamon powder sprinkles, maple, maple bacon. I think I'm gonna get cinnamon. Get it. Cinnamon's my favorite. There's a sign across the street that says two t-shirts for $19.99. Guess where we're going next? Guess where we're going. <laughs> the hospital. I want to go. Fun fact, I've seen every single season of Grey's Anatomy like five or six times. All-time favorite show. It says Aaron right here. I kind of like it. Yeah, I like that one. For $19.99. The cheapest shirts ever. That's kind of cool. It's dope. Think? That or the blue one? Not blue. the first blue one. The second one. Um... That one. That one's cool. This is the original Starbucks. The first Starbucks literally ever. So we have to go get a drink, of course. so bright. I didn't get anything because I'm already really caffeinated today, but Brian got a brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso. I need sunglasses. There you go. Next level. Did they do it better than everyone else? Yeah, <laughs> they did. They it's light in color. That's so good. Also, I just love it here. There's so much to do. There's so many people, so many musicians. Five. Guys, look. About to do it. Whose head's gonna be bigger? Yours. <laughs> I'm just looking at this clip. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> gosh that's so good look the space needles in the back yeah dude let's go honestly yeah <laughs> i think i'm better looking here i'll take it <laughs> we made it back to the cider before we head to the airbnb and i get to try all of them wow that smells good I am so tired, heading to the Airbnb now, and I'm so excited. We booked like this really cute little Airbnb. I'm hoping that it looks as good as it did on the pictures, but it's like right on the water. And I'm so excited to see it. And I think we're gonna get there right in time for a sunset. We're gonna get there at like 3.15, the sunset's 4.30. So get there, unpack, hang out for a little bit, and uh, I'll show you guys the place when we get there. We just got to the Airbnb. My eyes are literally watering. It's so pretty. We also had to walk down like all the way up there. So we had to bring down all of our luggage, but I cannot. This is stunning, stunning. Wow. My eyes are literally watering. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. Look at this little corner. It's so cozy. The bathroom. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Stop. And then I think LED mirror. Yeah. And then the view. I freaking die. The best man in the whole world. This is so cute. How many times am I gonna say that? Spark art. And upstairs. Oh, this is our room. Maybe? I think this is the day bed. This is insane. What the fuck? This is crazy. Another room? Oh my gosh. This is the smallest room I've ever seen in my life. It literally fits a bed. That's hilarious. A little mirror. I bet this view is crazy. 
Bye. Unreal. The aesthetics of this are so cool. I like the beige. And the view. This is so cool. Little vanity. Huge closet with a robe. This is crazy. Wow. This is so cool. So cozy. Wow. I like the little loft space. I know. Like 20 out of 10, we could not have picked a better spot. High five. Left me hanging. So great. This is proper for a world championship show day weekend. The kitchen view with the windows open. I never wanted to cook a meal so bad. Also, this kitchen is so cute. The Radon mugs. I used to have so many of those. Dude, this is so cute. It's so aesthetic. Hey! Look! Do you see this? No. It's a card for us. Oh my gosh, I thought this was a joint for a second. Oh, it's a travel straw. Oh, cool. And a little note. I just love when people are extra. We love the ocean stream with our guests. I'll link this Airbnb in the description. 20 out of 10 recommend already. Brian's taking a nap upstairs and I'm sitting here waiting for the sun to set because this is about to be so stunning. Like 15 minutes away, so I'll show you guys the sunset. Also, I found freeze-dried candy when I was in Breckenridge with some friends and the Skittles are so good. I found them on Amazon, I can link them in the description, but the wild berry, they're like crunchy. They're literally addicting. Also, the host left this note, which is the cutest thing ever. Also, as far as what's left today, Brian's taking a nap right now. That's why I'm trying to be kind of quiet. He has to go get his first layer of a tan, and then he has an athlete meeting. I feel like I'm getting washed out from this light. He has to go get a tan, and then he has an athlete meeting after that. So I'm going to drop him off at the hotel, and then I'm going to go train. Because I have to hit a leg day today, and I'm going to go back and pick him up. We're going to hang out. Probably going to grab some wine, just because I want to sit out here and listen to the way just hang out tonight. So I might take you guys with me to the gym and just do like B-roll of my workout because I don't have my actual setup with the mics and the big camera. We have a big camera, but I don't have the mics. And I also don't want to like tripod and film my entire workout because I don't think that's the point of this vlog, but I'll show you guys a little bit. I think I'm just doing anytime fitness because that's what's close to here. So we'll see how it is. But until then, I'm just going to sit here and chill and wait for the sun to set. I'm so happy today. This has been the best day in so long. This is actually crazy. The sound of the waves. Sheesh. Okay, we're about to head out to drop Brian off for tanning and his athlete meeting, and I'm gonna go to the gym. I don't really have any motivation, I'm really tired and I don't wanna go, but I also don't wanna skip because I'm gonna be traveling for like the next three weeks, and if I just skip every day that I'm traveling and tired, I'm never gonna work out. So, just gonna force myself to go today, and I'm sure I'm gonna have a good workout, put in AirPods, train at a different gym than I'm used to. I'm excited, it's a quad day. But the fit, these custom blazers that they do not make anymore, I'm sorry, I can't link them. Lulu Align shorts, Lulu bra, it's like the mesh training bra. I just got this shirt from Abercrombie from the men's section. I got an extra large for the big fit and I can link this in the description because I think it's still in stock. Let's go trip. finished the workout. I feel so good. I had a super good workout. I feel really strong. I hit all my lifts, but the gym, I'm not one to like complain about businesses, but the gym, I went to an anytime fitness, like I said, and I've always known that anytime fitnesses are like big on contracts. Like they stick you into a contract. You pay a lot of money. There's initiation fees, key fob fees, all this stuff. So I just came in for a day pass and they were like, oh, it's $15 cash only. And I was like, oh shit. Like I only have an hour and a half to work out. Like there's literally no ATMs in this area. Is there anything you can do? Like, can I Venmo you? Is there anything else I can do other than like not work out here, you know what I mean? And she was like, oh, like, let me go see. And she comes back in after talking to the manager or owner or whatever and was like, well, if you purchase a seven day pass and a key fob, which is like $75, then you can train. And I was like, 
Okay. And I just paid the money because I literally don't have time to drive around to an ATM or find a different gym because there's not one in this area. But honestly, that makes zero sense. I can either pay $15 cash, but I can't pay a $15 day pass on a card, but I can pay $75 to come in for a day. Also, the only reason that I feel like justified on speaking on this is because I actually own a gym myself and I would never do that in a million years. Like you come in, we, we actually don't take cash, but we've had a couple people come in with cash and we take it anyways because I'd rather drive to the bank myself than like inconvenience a customer that's coming in to like try my business. So I just thought it was interesting and I ended up paying for a week pass. The gym was okay. A lot of the equipment is super old. Anytime they have like mismatch plates. I don't know. It's just not my favorite gym. So I'm not going to come back, but I ended up paying literally $75 for one day. I think they said they were going to refund the key fob fee in like two weeks or something like that. But just the principle of it, I'm like, bro, come on. Um, anyways, Brian just texted me. He's ready to get picked up. So I'm going to head over there and grab him. I'm not sure if I'm going to film anything else tonight just because he's really tired. I'm really tired. I woke up at 4 a.m., slept a little bit on the plane and have just been going since then. We ended up walking a lot downtown and I didn't realize how tired I was until I was back at the Airbnb waiting for the sunset and my feet were like aching, but I'm just tired. So I'm not sure how much I'm going to film. I definitely need to eat because I am so freaking hungry. I feel like I have not had any food today besides Starbucks and breakfast and like snacks at the market, but I need a whole ass meal, like a lot of calories. So I'm going to go find that after I grab Brian. And if I don't see you guys tonight, I will see you in the morning. You guys look at this cat that literally followed us down all the stairs. She loves Brian and she's been waiting by the door and she finally came in. This is crazy. Should we give her a little piece of that sand? You're not gonna eat the sand. Oh yeah, you can do it. It's so cute. How excited you just got. Brian's in heaven right now. I'm literally a fucking heaven. You cannot get it to her. Yeah. Meow meow. Damn, this is some gourmet salmon. Come here, I have something you want. Look. Yum yum. Oh, that's good. Good girl. Good girl. My hands are all salmon-y now. Oh, I like that. This is so cute. So crazy. So Good morning. I slept so freaking good last night. Just finished getting ready. Brian had to check in with his coach. We've just been kind of like hanging out this morning. Also, I have on this little jumpsuit from Free People. I can link it in the description. But it's so freaking cute and so comfy. It's like a one piece. It looks like a sweatsuit vibes. I went to bed pretty early last night. I fell asleep the second my head hit the pillow. I literally like felt myself falling asleep and woke up and it was morning. So feeling really rested, which is good because yesterday was a long day off of pretty much no sleep. But as for now, we're gonna go grab some breakfast. We're gonna go to IHOP. Cause Brian needs to have things that he can easily measure with being one day off from the show. So gonna go to IHOP. I'm probably gonna get some good pancakes. And also the weather today looks so different than yesterday. Yesterday was so sunny and I feel like today is like typical Pacific Northwest weather. It's like hazy and cold, but it looks so cool. Like, it's so peaceful out here. So yeah, we're gonna head to IHOP and also on the way, I'm gonna show you guys the stairs to this place because I feel like it's it's gotta be at least, what do you think, 200 stairs? Yeah. It's a lot of stairs. I just wanna show you guys the journey that we have to take every time we come to this place, but also I will totally stay here again, regardless of the stairs because I'm obsessed with this place. So on that note, we're starving. Okay, the journey of the stairs, we start here and we end literally all the way up there. <laughs> so long. Maybe we'll see Juniper. The view from here, last night the sun was setting. It was so pretty walking up this. A journey, a journey. I'm like 99% sure I have undiagnosed asthma. I was hanging out with one of my friends who has asthma and she was like, bro, we're on a hike and I was literally like lagging all the way in the back of the group. I do like, see, I can't breathe. I do like any bit of cardio, lungs are shot. And it's been like this since I was a kid. I remember trying to run the mile in school and just like doing a couple laps and being like deceased. Like, why can I not get a full breath of air in my lungs? I tell my parents, my parents were just like, yeah, yeah, you're probably like out of shape. So I feel like I need to go to the doctor for that because it just doesn't feel normal. But anyways, we made it and I need food really bad.
Officially in a food coma. Heading back to the Airbnb now. Brian has some posing to do and just like hanging out. His instructions from his coach today was to have a super chill day. So besides the gym, we're probably not gonna do much. Just like hang out at the Airbnb. I also really wanna sit outside and just like listen to the waves because it's so relaxing. I feel like we're in the middle of nowhere out there. It's like a completely different world. So I'll pick up the camera if we do anything exciting. Otherwise, I'll see you guys at the gym. All right, it's about 2.15. We're about to head up to Seattle to go to this gym called Big Iron. This is the fit. I only got one pair of gym shoes, so custom blazers, Lulu Align shorts, Lulu sports bra, I can link this in the description, and then Packer shirt from the pro shop. We're going to a gym called Big Iron, it's like a bodybuilding vibe gym. I'm doing an upper body workout, Brian's just doing like a pump workout, he's only doing like two sets per body part just because he's competing tomorrow. But, shouldn't be too long, and I'm excited. I feel like I've been a little stir crazy in this house, so excited to move my body. Change of plans, we are now going to an LA Fitness because I wanna be home for the sunset, and by the time we drive up to Seattle, drive back, I think it's gonna be like 5.30, and the sunset's here at like 4.30. So, it's three o'clock right now, we found one like eight minutes away, and I'm assuming they do a day pass. I also just have an upper body workout, so I really just need cables and dumbbells. I think I'm doing overhead press, I'm not 100% sure, but I just need a basic gym, and I don't really care where I train, so we're just gonna go get in a workout, head to the grocery store, grab some wine, and then make it back home for the sunset. See you at the gym. Okay, we have 45 minutes to hit an entire upper body day. Can we do it? Also, the members of this gym, if any of you happen to be watching this, trash. There's so many weights left out. I'd be pissed. That's all I'm saying. Um, anyway, starting off with dumbbells from the press. I'm probably not going to talk too much during this workout and just show you guys and like put music over it, but uh, I'll show you guys the pump after. Yay, let's train. And they don't have the weight that you need. You just have to go heavier. So we're gonna see if I can do 40s for eight. Ah, it's fine, I'll do 40s. Right on time, heading out of the gym, it's 3.50. The gym was all right, it's pretty old. There were weights left like everywhere. I definitely missed my gym and just like being in a training environment that I'm like comfortable with, but it was all right, did the trick. Pretty solid workout, got a good pump. And now, time to go to the grocery store, grab some wine and some stuff for dinner, and then watch the sunset. I feel like the sunset is gonna be so good tonight because the clouds are there. And hopefully Juniper is gonna follow us down when we get back and spend the sunset with us. We made it back. Sadly, Juniper was not there waiting for us, but it's 424, the sunset's at 430, and sadly, it's pretty overcast. I don't think it's gonna be a good sunset, looks like. We got the goods from the grocery store, though, so we're still gonna have a vibe tonight. I got literally, like, the cheapest freaking champagne. I like Moscato di Asti. Come at me, I like super sweet wine, and this is the only one they had, so I got that. Ryan likes super dry stuff, so he got a ball back. He's just gonna have a glass tonight to help dry them out. And then also, I found these, I saw them on Instagram, and I really wanna try them. So I got them for tomorrow, pregame before dinner. <laughs> what is that? I have a metal spoon in here. I forgot. I just saw you like, yeet yourself the other direction. Um, got these for the pregame tomorrow night before dinner, and I'll let you guys know how they are. But as for now, I'm gonna go up, take a quick shower, get into comfies, pour a glass of wine, and hope that the sun is pretty setting but <laughs> I've literally no hope it just looks gray. Also they have a little record player in the corner and Brian set it up this morning and it was a vibe. We should do it again. Yeah. I want to do the cool one. I want to do this one. This was the the good vibe. Vibes one. Ooh. Night. We just need a sunset. What is this? Sheesh. How's that supposed to happen? 
Good morning, it's show day. Woo! <laughs> also, we looked outside at like 6.30 this morning and the tide has changed so much. There's a beach that we go to in Cape Cod that does this. And it's my favorite beach in the world, but look at the tide right now. It was so much further out. Like there, this is literally all a beach when we looked out the window, but look at the waves. There's so many birds too. I've been watching them like dip in the water. I think they're trying to catch fish. But we're about to get our day started. I just need to show you guys that before the tide went back out because I thought it was cool. And Brian and I can't sleep because we're so excited to watch him win the world championship. It's going to be a day. It's like 8 o'clock now. I only have like 30 minutes to get ready. But the tide has changed again. And also we can see the mountains. It is so windy outside. But look at the waves. So I don't know if you can see them on this, but these mountains look crazy. Sheesh. But like I said, I literally have 30 minutes to get ready, so I'm gonna run in and do that, and we'll see you guys on the way to the show. I'm so excited. I finished getting ready, and then Brian ran through his posing routine a few times. We skirted out the door, and I just dropped him off at the venue. I'm at Starbucks right now to grab a breakfast sandwich because I'm probably not gonna eat for a little bit. I also brought Handy Dandy Fairlife. I'm so excited for today. Brian's in a really good mood, says he feels amazing. He looks incredible, like the best he's looked in 20 weeks, which is the point. So I'm really excited. I'm also excited to see the show today. There's a lot of insane physiques coming, and I think it's gonna be crazy. It's about 9.30 right now. I'm gonna run in, like I said, grab a sandwich and then head over to the venue. I'm only like five minutes away. The one thing, I can't bring a camera. There's no cameras allowed. So we went to go like rent that lens to get stage shots of Brian and we can't even use it. And also I can't bring this vlogging camera. So I'm gonna grab some clips on my phone. They're probably gonna be vertical just because I also need to get stuff for Brian too, like in the last video. And I wanna prioritize that. But I'll definitely show you guys his routine, hopefully him winning. I have a really good feeling about it. I'm so excited, it's finally here. Okay, I'm also nervous. Like, all all the emotions are there, but uh, I think I'll feel a little bit better after I eat. So, gonna grab Starbucks and uh, get to it. I'm so excited.
great job, guys. Really, really, really good overall. One of the best in a long time. I want to thank my girlfriend, Erin, for supporting me through this whole prep. I want to shout out to my family, especially my mother, who lost her father a few months ago, my grandfather, and then her husband and my father the month later. So it was a very tumultuous prep for me, and uh, hard work pays off. Stick to your goals, follow your mission, and do it for those who love you and those that you love. Thank you so much, guys. We did it. We did it. We did it. No, literally every single small thing from this weekend has just like made sense. I just knew this was gonna happen, but I didn't want to jinx it. Now we can be like, damn, let's live life. Damn, that's sick. Not too shabby. It says world champion. That's pretty cool. Not too bad, could be worse. <laughs> could be worse. Unreal. <laughs> we did it. World champion, baby. We just got back to the house. Brian won the world championship complete title. I got a lot of content. I'm not sure if it was like super cohesive filming just because it was like super emotional and crazy, but just really happy. Very emotional ride back. Brian is super emotional. We're just like very thankful. It's been a tough year for Brian and I'm just really impressed that he pushed through this prep. It's honestly insane being able to finish a prep going through what he went through with losing his dad and everything like that. So just like in a really emotional win and we're really excited to celebrate. It's been 20 weeks of dieting and it's finally done. So literally about to pour one of these up and try it out. We are gonna get changed now, watch the sunset. It literally looks like it's gonna be absolutely insane. So just gonna hang out, chill out. Brian's taking a shower, washing off his tan. Gonna watch the sunset and then get changed. Uber up to Seattle, go to some rooftop bars, go to dinner. We have a reservation at a steakhouse tonight and yeah, just gonna have a celebratory night. I don't know how much I'm gonna film just because I really wanna be in the moment and celebrate with Brian and not be like over there vlogging, but I'll try to get some B-roll just of like the cool stuff we do and places we go. And then we're gonna spend the day in Seattle tomorrow. So a lot more fun things to come and fucking did it. Brian his. Whew. It's strong. It's good though. Cut waters are always strong but good. It's a very accurate tasting. Tastes like a cocktail. Definitely will buy again and also probably will drink for the holidays. This is fire. Also par for the course. We got home after Brian won the world championship and look who showed up. <laughs> This is a great, this is a great shot of her. Junie, you come to see us? Hello. Hi, Judy. She has no shame. She's, She's the, the omen from this weekend. She's literally the best. Sunset vibes. It's so crazy. Unreal. Wow. I'm going. Brian wants to narrate the vlog. All right, guys. So here's the deal. We just wrapped up the show. Brian did pretty well in the show. Now, we left the Airbnb. <laughs> Cut. Brian's a world champion. Cut. <laughs> Go ahead. We Ubered up to Seattle like, for like 30 minutes. We hit up a rooftop bar. Aaron is leading the night. I'm just going along for the ride. Guys, she put up with my dumbass for the last No, we're celebrating months. Brian because he's a world champ. Am I narrating this or are you? <laughs> we're now going to the next bar and then we're gonna get a fire ass dinner where calories will not be tracked. Where are we it's eating? Boiler. Daniel's broiler. Daniel's Daniel's broiler. <laughs> not to be confused with boiler. But uh, this is Aaron's vlog. This is World's Weekend and she a world champion too, so let's go. That was pretty accurate, not gonna lie. <laughs> Bottoms up. Uber's here. 
Founders Beer out of Grand Rapids. Nitro Rubeus, if you know, you know. Things I've never thought I'd say. No ties to Michigan or Grand Rapids, but shout out to Grand Rapids. Could be a worse place. <laughs> I like it. The beer's good. Very good. Good morning, friends. We just finished packing up the Airbnb and we're getting ready to head out to Seattle. This has been, hands down, such an amazing trip, not just because Brian won, but just like all the little things that have come together. We've had such a good time, so I'm excited to have the rest of this weekend. Hang on, Brian's calling me. Brian's being an amazing boyfriend and carrying all of our luggage upstairs right now, so I only have to bring my backpack in this little suitcase, which is still gonna be tough because you guys saw those stairs. But anyways, I'm excited to go up to Seattle because now all we have to do is celebrate and Ryan's officially off prep so we get to like enjoy life again. Not that he was, like people are like, oh my gosh, what was it like having your boyfriend on prep? Like Brian was such a good prep person. I don't know, like it really wasn't that different for me. The only thing was like, we couldn't have the same like date nights going out. We love to try new restaurants and go out and like grab drinks and stuff like that. So that was different. But yeah, I'm just excited to get back to normal life and not, he, he keeps saying, he's like, it's so weird to like eat something Thing and not be like, oh my gosh, like I have to track that or like what are my macros gonna be for the rest of the day or just like, he used to do two hours of cardio a day so he'd wake up and have to go on a walk for an hour and then like, we'd go to the gym and he'd be tracking all of his meals then he'd have to come home and do another hour of cardio and it's just like a lot to fit in with your routine. So I'm excited for that to be finished. He's excited for it to be done and our flight tonight's at 8.30 in Seattle so we have basically the entire day to do whatever we wanna do. I'm not sure what we're gonna get into. We might go to the Space Needle if I'm up for it. I still don't know if I can do it. There's a, I think it's called the Chihuly Glass Garden. It's like a sculpture park, like an art museum thing. We might go back to the market now that Brian can eat. And there's also a cool gym, Henry Henry's Gymnasium, I think it's called, with like some cool lighting, so we might do that. Kind of depends on what Brian wants to do, just because he said he's so sore from posing yesterday. But yeah, I'm not 100% sure what we're going to get into, but we're going to go grab some food for now and then head into the city. So let's do it. Yo, yo. Time to eat, brother. Time to eat. We just found out the cat's name is not Juniper, it's Jupiter. Still <laughs> Juni. Juni, I like Juniper. We should get another cat and name her Juniper. No, Hershey would hate that. Hershey and Juniper. Space needle. He's gonna do it. If Brian can win a world championship, I can ride on an elevator. <laughs> but I mean, can I? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna shoot my pants. There's glizzies hey, also. Your reward is a glizzy. I was gonna say, if I do it, I get a, I get a glizzy. Get a gliz. You guys. That's, that's insane. 
And you have to crane your neck that much to see. Sheesh. My phone is literally like completely horizontal. Space needle. I have the hiccups because I'm nervous. The view is the gigantic white wall that gets in your way. Here it is. <laughs> and when that's out of the way, it's all in downtown Seattle immediately in front of us. The very large black building is Columbia Center, the tallest in the state of Washington. And you can often tell because every other building in town is shorter. Every single day, the high tide would come up and get your ankles wet. Okay, it's not that bad. It's just like being in a really tall hotel. Absolutely not. It's rotating. See you later. You did it. Also, highly recommend, even if you're afraid of heights, it's really not that bad. There's like a rotating glass floor that we just showed you that you go to like down the stairs, but it's really just like a big room and you can walk outside right there and then you can walk like all the way around. But Super pretty. Great view, uh, Mount Rainer. On to the next. We have to head to the airport in like probably an hour, I think, depending on traffic, but we're gonna check out the Starbucks Reserve Roastery and see what it's about. And I think that's the last thing we're gonna do in Seattle until we come back next time. Yeah. Almond milk nitro, almond milk mocha. Yummy. Oh my god. You need to try this. This is like ice cream. Whoa. 12 out of 10. You have to take a trip to Seattle just to get this. Go on back. It's really good. I'm not gonna like it. Do you like it? Um, should go back and get Average. This. Had to get a pizza. And on that note, we're heading to the airport. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next one.